Welcome student and continue the double integration. Means evaluation of the double integration when limits are not given. So consider one example. Evaluate double integration over r y dx dy over the area bounded by y equal to x square and x plus y equal to 2. Before to start this, I would like to clear one thing. You must have the standard equations and curve. For example, parabola, ellipse, cardioid, asteroid, cycloid, circle, rose curves, Bernoulli's Leibniz gate curves and equation you should know. Now solution. Let i equal to double integration over r y into dx dy. Where r is y equal to means region of double integration is bounded by y equal to x square and x plus y equal to 2. So, y equal to x square is what? It is a parabola and x square is there. That is why it is symmetric about y axis. Consider x and y axis there. Just a rough sketch you find. So, y equal to x square it is a parabola. Symmetric about y axis. Now, the given region of integration is nothing but to it is a bounded by y equal to x square means parabola and the line x plus y equal to 2. So, roughly you just find the region of integration. So, we can decide the limits of integration. So, how? So, here x axis, y axis. Now, you take the parabola and straight line. So, now see here. This is x axis. This is y axis. It is a parabola y equal to x square. And this line x plus y equal to 2. So, how if we put here y equal to 0, I am getting x equal to 2. It means that one point is 2 comma 0. And when we put x equal to 0, I am getting y equal to 2. It means that 0 comma 2. So, by these two points, I can find a straight line. Once we get the region of integration, note that there, you find all boundaries of that region of integration. So, here, what is the region of integration bounded by parabola and line? Means definitely this is a region of integration. And after that, you write all boundaries equation. It means that this is one boundary. So, what is the equation of that boundary? So, it is nothing but x plus y equal to 2. And this is y equal to x square. After that, find all boundaries points. So, without fail, you do this one. Once I am getting the region of integration, you find how many boundaries are there, then write the equation of boundaries and then boundary points. If easily you can write that boundary point, do directly write. Otherwise, by the points of intersection, you find the boundary points. For example, here it is a y equal to x square. This is one boundary. Second boundary is x plus y equal to 2. It means that for this region, only two boundaries. I already said that there will be maximum four boundaries. So, out of this maximum 2 will be curved. Here 2 boundaries and only one curve is there. So, here I am getting the boundary point. So, what is this point and this point? So, how to find? So, roughly you find the points of intersection. How? So, points of intersection of y equal to x square and x plus y equal to 2. So, put this value. So, first y equal to x square in the second equation. So, I am getting x plus y. y means it is x square equal to 2. So, I am getting it is the equation x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Find the factors. So, I am getting x plus 2 and x minus 1. These are the factors and therefore x equal to minus 2 and 1. And you put these values x equal to minus 2 and 1 in this equation or this. So, I will get the second point. So, here x equal to minus 2 I am getting y equal to 4. And x equal to 1, I am getting y equal to 1. And that is why here it is 1, 1 point and second is minus 2, 4. It is very clear that here I am getting minus 2, 4 and here I am getting 1, 1. So, definitely minus 2 means negative x is this point. There are two points of contact. Definitely this point is origin. Don't forget. Okay. Now, after that, we have to decide the step. Right? So, you must go through the first video of this double integration. So, here I want to take a slip. 
either vertical or horizontal. So, what are the rules for that? So, if I am taking a, any strip, vertical or horizontal, it should touch to the boundary curve or curve boundaries, you can say. It means that here two boundaries only and if I am taking horizontal or vertical, if suppose I am taking this one, what is the condition? That condition, it should touch to the curve path. So, definitely it touch to the curve path. This is one condition. And second condition is that if I am taking anywhere in the region, I am getting same boundaries. So, for example, here one can take here, at this, at this, one can take here, here. But if I am taking at this corner, condition is same that is parallel to x axis means horizontal. But here boundaries are this curve to this curve, means curve to curve. But here I am getting curve to line, straight line. Here curve to straight line. Here curve to curve. It means that this strip is not applicable for the region of integration. So now take a vertical strip. So if suppose I am taking vertical strip like this. This is a vertical strip. One may take here also. One can consider here. So, anywhere in the region of integration condition is only it is a vertical means parallel to y axis. So, you can see the boundaries. So, here line to curve or curve to line. Here curve to line. Here curve to line. Here curve to line. Even though the last that is nothing but the curve to line means here I can take a vertical strip. So, here you take a vertical strip now. So, this is a vertical strip. And along this strip, if we extend that strip, it cut to x axis and you can say the width is so small, so x value is fixed. So, note that if we extend this strip, it cut to x axis, therefore x constant and y varies. So, that is why I can write here y varies from y to y equal to and x constant. So, first y and then x, which is a constant x, that is why x limits are second limits. Note that if x constant, so first always you find the limits of y by using equations. So, what is the first boundary? Here the boundary from this boundary to this boundary. So, what is the value of y by using equation? So, y equal to x square 2 upper. It is nothing but y equal to. So, here x plus y equal to 2. So, what is value of y? 2 minus x. And to decide the values of x or limits of x, now you just consider along the x-axis limit points. It means that where curve start, you can see here. So, here it start and end at this point. So, what is value of x here? It is a minus 2, 2, last is 1. Means x equal to minus 2, 2 x equal to 1. So, this is very important part. This is the first example. That is why I am taking here step y. So, note the case. That is here, what are the steps? Again, I repeat, you can skip this step side if you want. So, see there, first by the given equation of curve, you find the region of integration. Means by roughly, you just find the region of integration. After that, you write all boundary equation. Means you decide how many boundaries are there. Then you write the equation of boundaries and boundary points. After that, you decide which strip is applicable, vertical or horizontal. What are the rules to take a strip? So, that strip should touch to curve path. So, you decide how many curve path are there. So, here in this case, only one curve path. So, here I can take vertical or horizontal. But second, second condition is what? Throughout this region, if I am taking anywhere the strip, but condition is that if I am taking vertical, it should be parallel to axis if I am taking horizontal then parallel to x axis. So, but anywhere the limits should be same. If I am taking here horizontal then limits are not same and that is why I am taking here vertical. And by the vertical, so you just extend that step. It cut to x axis that is why x constant and y varies from boundary to boundary of that strip. So, by equation I will find it y equal to x square to y equal to 2 minus x. And on the x axis, boundary points of the curve from that curve start from x equal to minus 2, 2 ends at x equal to 1. Now, remaining part is very routine or simple that is i equal to here minus 2 to 1, constant always outside, then y x square to 2 minus x, 
and here what is the integrand y dx dy is the integrand so now the inner limit contains x means these are the limits of y so first integrate with respect to y so x constant there so only y inside so i am taking here integration from x square to 2 minus x only y inside means y dy and outside dx what is the integration of y with respect to y so i am getting here y square by 2 lower limit is x square upper limit is 2 minus x and dx now upper limit minus lower limit it means that y replaced by upper limit so here by 2 that is 1 by 2 i can take directly outside because it is a constant and y square upper limit so 2 minus x whole square minus x square square into dx you can simplify it is 1 by 2 integration minus 2 to 1 so i am getting here 2 minus x whole square minus x raised to 4 into dx you can skip some steps if you want so i am getting here 1 by 2 so what is the integration of 2 minus x whole square so with respect to x so i am getting 2 minus x cube upon 3 but due to this minus x i am getting minus sign now minus x raised to 4 integration with respect to x i am getting x raised to 5 by 5 lower limit is minus 2 upper limit is 1 now simplify it i am getting i equal to 1 by 2 upper limit minus lower limit so upper limit is 1 so 2 minus 1 i am getting 1 cube by minus 3 minus 1 raised to 5 by 5 minus now lower limit so 2 minus of minus 2 it will be 4 so 4 cube upon minus 3 minus minus 2 raised to 5 upon 5 so simplify this so i am getting it is a 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 5 it will be plus 64 by 3 now here minus 2 raised to 5 it means that here minus sign this is minus sign and this is minus sign so 3 times minus sign i am getting minus 2 raised to 5 so 32 by 5 so simplify or by calculator you can find answer so what is the answer for this so i am getting here 1 by 2 into 72 by 5 so that is why i am getting i equal to 36 by 5 which is your required answer now consider new example evaluate double integration x y dx dy over r over the area bounded by x axis ordinate x equal to 2a and parabola x square equal to 4ay so let's see solution for that so let i equal to double integration over r x y dx dy now it is bounded by x axis ordinate x equal to 2a and parabola x square equal to 4a y. So what is that parabola? So x square equal to 4a y means definitely x square due to that it is symmetric about y axis. So here what is this region r equal to x axis ordinate x equal to 2a and parabola x square equal to 4a y. So you can see the figure. Here x axis, here y axis, it's a parabola x square equal to 4ay. Now x axis, x axis means what is the equation of x axis? It is y equal to 0 and x equal to 2a. It means that it is a line parallel to y axis. Now you can observe here this is x equal to 2a which is parallel to y axis. This is a x axis means y equal to 0. And this is a parabola. So, bounded by this 3, it means that region of integration is nothing but this one. So, region of integration is as shown in figure. So, you just write the equation of all boundaries and boundary points. So, easily you can write here this is x equal to 2a, this boundary is y equal to 0, and it is a parabola x square equal to 4ay. And boundary points this one boundary, two boundary point, and three boundary. So, it easily you can decide it 0, 0. It's here x equal to 2a. And when we put x equal to 2a, in this 
parabola because it is a point of intersection of parabola and x equal to 2a. So, I am getting here it will be 4a square equal to 4ay. So, this implies what is value of y there? It is a. So, 2a comma a is the point of intersection there and this point is on x axis that is why y is 0 and x is 2a. So, now take a strip. So, you can take here any strip. Why? Because if I am taking horizontal, it touch to curve path and everywhere, even though anywhere in the region parallel to x axis, I am getting same boundaries. Also, if we consider the vertical there, so it also the same that is anywhere the same boundaries I am getting and it touch to the curve path. So, here you can take any strip. So, in the last example, we have considered the vertical, so that is why I am taking here the horizontal, but you can take here vertical strip also. Now, take a horizontal strip, so you can see like this. So, if we extend it, it cut to y axis, it means that y constant and x varies from this point to this point. So, by equation you find what is value of x here, it is x equal to under root of 4ay to x equal to 2a. So, these are the limits of x and the limits of y on the y axis you decide where it curve start at y equal to 0 to y equal to which is this point that is y equal to a. So, limits of y are y equal to 0 to y equal to a. Therefore, I can write here as horizontal strip cut to y axis. So, y constant and x varies from curve to curve and y constant. And what are the limits? That is under root of 4ay to x equal to 2a and y limits 0 to a. So, now it is very easy example i equal to 0 to a and under root of 4ay to 2a and integrand is x y dx dy. Now, note that inner integral contains y means definitely these are the limits of x. So, first integrate with respect to x keeping y as a constant. So, I am getting here i equal to 0 to a only x inside. So, under root of 4 a y to 2 a x dx and y dy outside. So, I am getting i equal to integration 0 to a, integration of x is x square by 2, lower limit is under root of 4 a y to 2 a and y dy as it is. So, upper limit minus lower limit. So, i equal to this x square by 2. So, by 2 that is 1 by 2 totally outside 0 to a, upper limit means 2 a whole square minus root of 4 a y whole square into y dy. So, I am getting here i equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to a, it will be 4 a square minus 4 a y into y dy. So, what is i? i equal to 1 by 2 integration 0 to a, 4 a square y minus 4 a y square into dy. So, integrate with respect to y, it is a simple integration now, it is a 4 a square constant and y integration y square by 2 minus 4 a constant and it will be y cube by 3 lower limit 0 upper limit a. So, y replaced by upper limit minus y replaced by lower limit. So, I am getting i equal to 1 by 2. So, 4 a square into a square by 2 minus 4 a a cube by 3. Now, the lower limit due to this y equal to 0 and 0, I am getting 0 only. So, that is why i equal to simplify it, it is 1 by 2 in bracket, it is a 2 a raised to 4 minus 4 by 3 a raised to 4. So, simplify, so what is the answer for this? a raised to 4 common 2 minus 4 by 3 and into 1 by 2. So, I am getting a raised to 4 by 3 which is your required answer. Now, consider new example that is evaluate double integration under root of x y into 2 minus x minus y dx dy over the area bounded by x equal to 0, y equal to 0 
and x plus y equal to 2. So, solution for this let i equal to double integration over r under root of xy into 2 minus x minus y dx dy where r is nothing but x equal to 0, y equal to 0 and x plus y equal to 2. Now, find the region of integration. So, x equal to 0 means y axis, y equal to 0 means x axis and x plus y equal to 2. It is a straight line. Put x equal to 0, find value of y. Put y equal to 0, find value of x. So, I am getting here 0, 2 and 2, 0, 2 points. So, straight line. This is x axis. Here, this is y axis. And one straight line passing through 2, 0, 0, 2. So, this is x axis. This is y axis. This is 0, 0 point. This point is 0, 2 this point is 2 comma 0 and this equation is nothing but x plus y equal to 2. This is y equal to 0 means x axis and x equal to 0 means y axis. Bounded by this 3 means definitely region of integration is. So, this is the region of integration. So, how many boundaries are there? 3 boundaries. So, write the equation of all boundaries and boundary points already there. Now, you take any strip because here all boundaries are straight lines. So, here I can take horizontal slip or vertical slip. So, take here vertical slip. So, vertical slip cut to x axis that is why x constant and y varies from y to equation and x constant. So, how to find limits here? Here cut to x axis x constant y varies from equation. This is what is equation of this? It is y equal to 0 and what is equation of this one? So, equation of y is 2 minus x and on the x axis boundary points are 0 to 2. So, I am getting like this. So, now it is very easy that is i equal to integration 0 to 2, inner integration 0 to 2 minus x, integrand is under root of x y 2 minus x minus y dx dy. Same thing I can write here as integration 0 to 2, integration 0 to 2 minus x. It is x under root of x. It means that x raised to half, y raised to half and it is a 2 minus x minus y raised to half dx dy. So, note that here inner integral contains x means integration with respect to y. So, only y inside remaining outside so 0 to 2 minus x inside y raised to half and here 2 minus x minus y raised to half dy and outside x raised to 1 by 2 dx. Note that this is a single integral now you solve first. So, how to solve it? Note that here 2 minus x minus y only y active inside. 2 and minus x both are constant and that is why our substitution is here I am using beta and gamma function y equal to 2 minus x into t. So, what is the dy? It will be 2 minus x into dt. Note that here for y x is a constant. What are the limits? Limits from y to t 0 to 2 minus x. These are the limits of y and now I want to find limits of t. So, when y equal to 0, I am getting t equal to 0 and when y equal to 2 minus x, I am getting 1. One more method you can use to avoid the confusion of this x. You put this is a constant so as a and evaluate this integration first and after that you replace value of a and then integrate with respect to x. So, what I am getting here? So, i equal to 0 to 2 here inside integration limits are now 0 to 1. Why? What is the value of y here? 2 minus x into t whole raised to 1 by 2 then 2 minus x into y and here 2 minus x minus y. So, 2 minus x and minus y. y is what? 2 minus x into t and whole raised to half and what about dy? It is a 2 minus x into dt. 
this is a inner part into x raised to 1 by 2 into dx this as it is so simplify this for inner integral don't forget only t active now so x is a constant so i can take here 0 to 1 integration so here only t raised to 1 by 2 and here 1 minus t raised to 1 by 2 because here 2 minus x we can common out and into dt so what is the common thing that you consider outside totally of this bracket so i am getting here 2 minus x raised to half from this 2 minus x raised to half from this and 2 minus x and already there x raised to 1 by 2 dx so simplify this carefully as we know the definition of beta function beta of m n equal to integration 0 to 1 x raised to m minus 1 and 1 minus x raised to n minus 1 dx and that is why this value is i equal to integration 0 to 2 here i am getting this bracket beta this power plus 1 so that is why here 3 by 2 3 by 2 and what is remaining that is a 2 minus x raised to half raised to half and raised to 1. It means that half plus half plus 1 I am getting 2 and x raised to 1 by 2 dx. Since this beta function is a constant so you take outside beta 3 by 2 3 by 2 and I am getting here 0 to 2 here x raised to 1 by 2 and 2 minus x raised to 2 dx. Again you go through the beta of gamma function. So that is why substitution is x equal to 2u. So what is the dx? It will be 2du. Therefore, I am getting the limits. You can find out the limits directly also. That is x to u. Given limits 0 to 2. And that is why I am getting 0 to 1 limits of u. You can see here. How? That is when we put x equal to 0. I am getting u equal to 0 and x equal to 2. So, 2 by 2 I am getting 1 and that is why i equal to beta. Definitely we have to find this beta value. Integration now 0 to 1. x, x is a 2u raised to 1 by 2 and 2 minus x means 2u raised to 2 and dx is a 2du. Take constant term all outside. So, I am getting here beta 3 by 2. 3 by 2, here constant term 2 raised to 1 by 2, 2 square into 2. So, remaining integration 0 to 1, u raised to 1 by 2 and 1 minus u raised to 2 du. Again by beta function, we already have this beta function. So, same formula I will use here also. So, what I am getting here? This one. And that is why i equal to beta 3 by 2, beta 3 by 2, 2 raised to half 2 and 1. It means that here 1 by 2, 2 plus 1. So, 2 raised to say 1 by 2 into beta 3 by 2 and 3. As we know the relation between beta and gamma, beta of m n equal to gamma m, gamma m, upon gamma addition means gamma separation upon gamma addition. So, here I am getting i equal to this 2 raised to 7 by 2 as it is and here gamma 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 upon gamma addition 3 by 2 plus 3 by 2 it will be 3. Now, for this again the same formula. So, gamma 3 by 2 gamma 3 upon gamma 3 by 2 plus 3 it is gamma 9 by 2. So, that is equal to 2 raised to 7 by 2 and gamma 3 by 2 it is 1 by 2 root pi it is again 1 by 2 root pi gamma 3 by 2 again so 1 by 2 root pi this cancel and gamma 9 by 2 is nothing but 7 by 2 then 5 by 2 3 by 2 1 by 2 root pi. Simplify this carefully. So, 1 root pi get cancelled, 1 by 2 get cancelled. So, simplify this one. So, I am getting here i equal to 2 raised to 7 by 2. It means that 2 cube 
and two raised to half means root two. Here I am getting it is a one by two, one by two root pi root pi it is a pi, and this same thing I can write two into two into two upon seven into five into three. So this two and two get cancelled. So I am getting here i equal to sixteen or root two upon one zero five into pi. So you can simplify by using direct steps also. So this is your required or final answer.